motherfucking monster for this one. Yo, what's going on dudes? Today I'm going to go through my favorite uplink throws on all four Black Ops 3 competitive maps and that would be Fringe, Evac, Breach and what's the other one? Infection. So I'm going to go through one on each side of each map. Uh, there's obviously heaps more than one. Um, going through all of them would be kind of stupid. Me and my mate sort of strated these out about a week ago and worked them all out so that we got it down pat for our team. But um, the, the aim of this one anyway is just a simple wall run on here. And you got to kind of like get this one right though with the how you aim. Like you got to look up like that. So that's that side. And um the other side this map's kind of good like um i can hear one pointers off the bat on this side every time but that other side i choke a lot like i did there in the in the video but just this one you just got to go over that like that little how do you explain it like um the little chicken on top of the roof you can see it the northwest sign that's it kind of forgot what i was thinking but yeah this is pretty simple so just on the wall and try and like jump at the furthest time off the wall so you get like a full thrust pack and um yeah I just, you can throw it too far on this unbelievably, like you're throwing it over like some massive ass house, but um, yeah, you can throw it too far sometimes, so you just got to make sure that you time it right. Um, afterburner is pretty handy, like I usually run afterburner in every, um, actually CTF as well, but so just try and jump off like the furthest part of the wall, that's, that's what I'm trying to like, mm, like uh, you want to jump off about here, and just so you get your full thrust, and then you can get to like the highest point on the wall. But yeah, that's fringe. I'll show you evac now. All right, what's going on, dudes? Evac, probably my favorite map, and um, let's show you why. Basically, on this map, you're gonna usually have someone up here. That's just the way this map works, and um, it's the same for hardpoint, same for S and D, and I guess no, not really CTF, but uplink especially. You want to have someone on that top glass building, and this is why. Because this throw, this is just OP. Like I can hit that, you know, 99 of the time, and it's. You're so covered, like, as long as you got someone here watching top AC, um, you're not really going to get stopped. I mean, people say do this throw here, like, over this, when it's not really that good. Because the main spawn on this map is, um, over, about here. I'm pretty sure the spawn point is exactly, like, right here or something. But they're going to come out with their ARs, and they're going to be, like, pre-aiming down here. So, you're not really going to want to run through. You're better off having cover and, you know, going this wall run here, which... That's what I think anyway. I don't know. I've never really seen anyone use this throw. I do, but I've seen a lot of people try and do the one over this way, which, as I said, I don't really rate that much. I don't even know if I can hit it. I think it's like that, but yeah. It's not really that good. Um, this one, yeah, this is probably my favorite throw. My most consistent throw as well. Like, I'm going to hit this most of, the, most of the time. And it's it's not really that hard. That's why you just got to make sure you're, you know, aiming on the portal and try and jump off the wall so you don't get stuck in that, like, this crap up here but yeah that's that's definitely um one of my favorite throws and yeah that's uh that's that side i'll jump on bo one black ops and show you this one this one's pretty cool as well i'm really cons i'm semi consistent with this i don't really practice this one that much because this side's more of a two point side because you can like wall run around and um yeah here you can go like around this way and get around the back and usually you're going to have a teammate like running out mid flanking the dudes who are going to be killing you here so get the easy two but when you can hit ones you need to like if you can hit them in overtime you know quickly hit these throws that I'm showing you like it's really important like if you get a 30 second throw if you get if your teammates get like two or three down you know on this side because usually you're going to have about two or three enemies running this way maybe one go mid but you got a teammate up top gets a two piece you know in overtime you're going to be going crazy you're going to be off this wall and bang, like easy ones for days, you know. But that's evac. I'll jump onto what do we got next? Breach and then infection. Now this, this is like the map that me and my mate sort of figured out these throws ourselves. Hadn't seen anyone ever do these before. Um, the same with that evac one I was just showing you there. Like I, the wall run one. I, both the wall run runs actually. I, we just figured them out. We're just sitting in private match, you know, trying to figure out some geek throws for. For our games, because we were struggling a lot in um, uplink, and they definitely help out. You know, getting those one or maybe two points at the start, like getting that early lead, it definitely helps. You know, puts a bit of pressure on the enemies, and 
I really um, believe that like just that time we put in private match just into, you know, working out these throws, it's, it's definitely helped our game. And when I figured this throw out, like I was so stoked, man. Like, um, it's hell geeky. Like I've hit it in an arena game before, but not um, not an actual competitive match. So can't wait to hit in a comp game. But yeah, there's that one. That one's that one's pretty crazy. Like if you got someone top um, cube, like head glitching, watching over broken and. You know, maybe someone's laying out in reception. Like, you're going to pretty much be set to hit ones for the rest of the game. Um, you could hit like two, literally like, I could hit two of these in a row. And you know, that's instant two points within like 30, 40 seconds. All right, so with this side, you're going to want to come, grab the ball, get off this ramp and then tap your thrust and then go for the throw over like so. Um, this one's pretty good. I like this one. It's really like good you know, game situation, like, you know, you, your team's got maybe one or two down, you grab a ball, you run into the ramp, and then you're going, like, straight for the throw, like, it's not, like, you know, trying to set up for a one-pointer, in a sense, like, you're always moving, whereas on this other side over here, like, I'm taking the time to go up on top here, and then go for the wall run, and, like, team, like, the enemy could have caught up by then, whereas when I go for this other one, like, I feel like it's more, I don't know, just game situational. Um, I'll show you another way of hitting this, actually. You can go up the top here, I don't really like this at all, um, and you can like war run this, but it's kind of stupid because like, it's not, you know, you're going to be getting caught wall running and crap, and as you saw there, it got stuck on something, and it always happens to me, like I've seen people hit it a lot of the time from here, but I don't know, maybe you can hit it like on the full or something, but I just prefer doing it how I do it off the, um, off the ramp. That's just my uh, personal preference. I don't know about you guys. If you guys got any cool throws or anything I'm missing or I'm stuffing up, just let me know. I'd like to hear, but yeah, I just like doing it like that. Just feel like I'm always going to hit it. And it's bouncing off the same thing every time. Whereas you're doing it off the wall run, you know, you're getting it too far and it's bouncing off these little, like, piping things. I'll show you what I mean. I'll go over there now. That's exactly what I'm talking about, actually. So I got stuck on this shit up here. This, like silver piping crap and when you go off the wall you're getting too much like momentum so it's like going too far whereas when you're going from the ramp you're like hitting before this piping and it's bouncing over it so it's a lot more consistent but um it's personal preference really whatever you prefer um whatever you're more consistent with you know hit more points for your team that's the aim of this to hit points for your team and yeah help the team out by scoring that's that's the point of it but i just prefer the ramp over the wall run so it's personal preference but let's jump on onto infection the last map and um, i'll show you guys those all right on infection dudes last map and if you guys didn't know they at the start of this game there was like a really op throw where you could just hit it literally every time and everyone thought oh yeah treyarch's patched it you know it used to, i think the portal used to be about here and um it's really it used to be like the biggest geek throw like everybody knew it it wasn't even like that unique but you can still hit this throw um people say you can't but yeah you can 100 percent now thing you got to take note on is this piece of dirt yep you probably think i'm an idiot but no this piece of dirt this is the masterpiece and me and my mate were just figuring stuff out the other night, you know, throws on infection after they move this portal, and um, you can still hit this, and I'll show you how. So it's just the same, but you're going to need to get more air and throw it to the left. Now, if you saw that, no, I just failed, but the reason you're throwing it to the left is it's because it's going to bounce off this little dirt pile here. It's going to bounce off this, and it's going to bounce up to the right a little bit, so it's going to go in, and it's really OP. Like, I was hitting it, I, literally, I think I hit it about six or seven times in a row with my mate the other night, and... Yeah, we just figured it out, so it's not really that hard, but you just want it, like, just about there, like, just to the left, and then it should get enough air, like, you saw it, like, bounce to the right a tiny bit, um, so it's, as long as, like, this enemy team doesn't catch on, um, you're gonna hit this most times, because then, when people are trying to, you know, catch it in mid-air or whatever, they're usually not, like, thinking it's gonna bounce in, they're usually thinking, you know, it's gonna go on the full, so they're not gonna be, like, when they're usually trying to cut it off, they're gonna be standing on the portal and they're going to jump like forwards like so and like in front of it to catch it but this one this is going to bounce here and it's going to bounce past them so hopefully this is a consistent throw. all right so for this side on infection you're going to want to go for the wall run this one's shit because you got to get this wall run right like see you get stuck on this little like archway yeah you got to get this right so you got to get like a little bit above the archway so you get the consistent wall run and then you're going to want to go for the throw over the house like so 
It's um that's a pretty OP throw because it's kind of hard to cut off. The sp main spawns for this map are out this way at the back here, like about here. I don't exactly know where the spawn point is, but there is sort of the main main spawn point. Like unless you're blocking it, is going to be about here. They literally spawn here every time, and um. They're gonna come to this track, uh, this tank, yeah. So they're gonna probably look over you when you're going for this throw. But another throw on this map is on. I'm just throwing a couple of throws on this side, especially because you get cut off easily when you're going for this one. Um, I've done this a couple of times in game, and I usually hit this when I'm like one shot because there's a lot of enemies always like aiming at this spot. But that's just about the video, dudes. If you got any other throws that I don't know about that are, you know, hell geeky and a lot better than these, let me know. Be appreciated. But hopefully these are kind of handy and they get you a win every now and then or get that quick overtime score. But hopefully um, it does help out. And if it did, leave a thumbs up. mean a lot. And if you want me to make more videos like this with um, Hardpoint, SND, and CTF, it'd be good. If you, just let me know in the comments. Greatly appreciated. But hopefully you guys have a good one. Have a great day. Peace out. Yeah, it's always been Dane, always the same All about the same girl and the same pain Now I got two girls with the same name Wait, I'm feeling myself See, it's been a whole week and I can't even tell Right between going to heaven or going to hell Feel like I'm stuck in a cell Told me I'm selling my soul, are you selling yourself? I feel like I'm walking on shells What should I tell? Feel like a jail Feel like my hands and a nail is a way that